This might look like your typical IBM PS2 Model 60, 65SX, or Model 80, but it's not. This is actually what is called an IBM 6152 academic system. An academic system is internally a PS2 Model 60. It has the 286 planar board, acts like a PS2 Model 60 for most intents and purposes although the system ROM is lacking cassette basic so if this machine fails to boot it won't be like any other model 60 and go into cassette basic after trying to obtain a boot source from the floppy drive this system is completely functional except for one thing everything that has to do with the academic system has disappeared so what is it that makes an academic system special well, apart from the fact that the serial number on this one unit that I have and the serial numbers of the units that I know to exist elsewhere, all those serial numbers are pretty low. I thought this was loose. It almost is. Just undo these thumb screws here. And then we'll have it. The thing that makes the academic system so special is this card right here. This is called a crossbow board. This is an auxiliary processor card. This contains a processor very similar, if not the same, as what was used in the IBM PCRT computer system. The way this worked, as best I've been able to tell, is that this machine booted up into DOS, and then you could run an operating system such as an early version of AIX, or even the academic operating system, by loading it from the DOS command line. I've heard quite a few stories about this thing. I've heard that its graphics support is very good, that if you have an 8514A adapter for graphics in your system, that it can take advantage of that. This system is complete hardware-wise. This system is functional hardware-wise, and I even managed through a lot of twisted paths to get to a point where I had an adapter definition file for this so-called crossbow board. But what I don't have, and what I haven't been able to source from anybody else who has one of these, I don't have the software needed to make this work. Now, this thing dates from approximately 1988. In fact, the date code on these SIMs is 05 of 1988. They're 256 kilobytes apiece for a total of 2 megabytes of installed memory. Up to 8 megabytes was supported on the crossbow board. But again, what I really need to try and make this old thing run again, I need somebody who's had one of these in the past, who's kept a software archive, to look through that software archive and see if they have any documentation, to see if they have any software, to see if they have any anything. Because I'd like to get this thing running again. And I think that it could be done. There's got to be a copy of the supporting software out there somewhere that has survived the passage of time. So if you've got a copy of the software, or you've got some documentation about this machine, again, it's an IBM 6152 academic system, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment on my video, or feel free to private message me via YouTube at any time. Thank you.